in an attempt to create a cloaking device. So American ships would stop getting blown up by German U-boats. The U.S. accidentally, or on purpose, depending on who you talk to, teleported a destroyer over 200 miles away and sent it back in time 10 minutes. Witnesses say, or witness, really, that on October 28th, 1943, the USS Eldridge powered on its cloaking device, and within minutes, a green mist enveloped the ship and the destroyer simply disappeared. It then reappeared in Norfolk, Virginia, 10 minutes earlier in the day before returning back to the Philadelphia shipyard. When sailors boarded the USS Eldridge, after it returned, it was a site of horrors. Some of its crew were fused into the walls. Others were frozen in time. Sailors screamed in agony. Many were driven to madness. As time went on, it was suggested that these men had a loose tether on reality. They would slip in and out. Sometimes they simply disappeared. Now, like I said, there is really only one source, ex-merchant marine Carl Allen. Allen sent a series of letters to the author of the book, The Case for the UFO, Unidentified Flying Objects, one Morris K. Jessup, explaining the events of that day. Later, research into what happened uncovered a few issues. The first one being that the USS Eldridge wasn't in Philadelphia at the time. Records show that it was in New York. The second being that there is no documented record of this event ever having occurred. Most people point to degaussing technology that was being used on U.S. Navy vessels to disrupt magnetic signals on mines as the origin to this story. Degaussing doesn't make your ship invisible, though, or cause people to fuse into walls. 